7 here. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to Glen Malure. Today, we have a little project. Um, well, first of all, you'll notice we have almost no money. Okay, reason for that, I had to spend it all. <laughs> yeah, um, our pigs are kind of pulling a pinky in the brain on us in so much as they're trying to take over the world. We have almost 400 pigs. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, we should have raised rabbits. They breed slower, I tell you. So, I bought a new pig trailer. That wasn't a big deal. It was actually cheaper than our old pig trailer. But what cost us was I had to buy a new Scania to pull it. So, we'll have a look at that in a bit. What I need to do right now is find a place called Murphy and Sons Wool Merchants. So... Uh, they would be way down here. So, I believe... Well, let me look at my handy-dandy map. Thanks to Steve at FC Mine. Uh, yeah, that'd be them. <laughs> Alright, so that's our project for the moment anyways. We've got to manage that. So, get us turned around here. Oh, I hope I have the locking script on, don't I? Did those bales stay? Yeah, more or less. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of scary. Let's uh, have a look here. Unlock. Okay, so they are locked. We're good to go. Let's go find Mr. Murphy and his son, shall we? So I loaded all of the potatoes we had sitting in our bin into the uh, piggy paddock. They have pretty much everything at the moment. So, including, like I said, lots and lots of company, i.e. 400 something almost. And there's a great demand coming up in just a couple of days for pigs at the bacon shop. So I am going to wait till then. Of course, by then, we'll likely, uh... Wow. That, uh... Trailer's misbehaving a little bit, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, well. Hopefully it'll hold on to the load. Yeah, I had to uh, come up here in the little tractor, so that's why it's sitting here. There's our, uh, new Scania. We want to have a look at this. She's kind of pretty, eh? Nice looking truck. Bloody well better be for the price. <laughs> yeah. But, at any rate, we need to get this wool delivered. Because we do have to be making money. Excuse me, little tractor fella. <laughs> Alright, now... See, I'm not convinced that the uh, script on this is working all that well. But, hey, we'll take our chances. So, let's get in here and have a look. So, I hope everybody enjoyed the last episode. We uh, did fairly well on that. Suppose I should actually consider maybe having a map open so I can see where's as going. Um, I think we got a ways here though. It's way down the main road, further than we've gone. What a busy little road today, huh? Look at all this traffic. And yeah, this is going to take a little bit, guys. Oh, oh, I see a wool ball. <laughs> so we're almost there. Nice. Okay, let's get that out of our way. How are we doing here? Still got a load? We do. All right. So we should be... Oh, is this it? Murphy and Sons, Wool Merchants. Ooh, ho, ho. Almost went right past her. 
So, where would you like your woolly bales? Ooh, right there, right? Alright, so we have $6,006. We now have $34,000. Oh, I like that. I do, I do. 64,000. Ooh, what the heck? Wow, that seems kind of extreme. Although, granted, yeah, it does take an awful long time to get wool together, but still, four pallets, $60,000, wrong side of the road. Not bad. Well, now we're not broke anymore. I don't feel so bad about buying our little Scania. Cool. The other thing we really need to get at is our giant cornfield is once again. Dang, this thing's fast is once again up and ready and this time we are going to silage it as the last corn harvest bought us a new big x for silage work so yeah that's what we're going to do okay we just got to get back home and get our little toy here put away So I have been looking at some other maps, because uh, eventually we're going to have to uh, consider moving on. This farm has... Oh, not here. Done really well by us. And I think we're almost to the point where we've done pretty much what there is to do. We don't own all the fields, and I'm not giving up yet. There'll be a few episodes to go, but I have been looking at other maps. I was super, super disappointed to find out that there are two Canadian maps. One version 1 of Canada and one version 2, and unfortunately they are both extremely messed up. <laughs> so, yeah. I was uh, just having a look at version 2 and spent uh, half an hour trying to figure out where the heck the chickens are. And, uh, come to the conclusion that no matter, oops, how many of them you buy, they don't actually exist. That issue uh, seemed to kind of run rampant on that map. There's all kinds of things that don't actually exist. You know, the, from the store you buy your equipment right on down. So that wasn't terribly impressive at all. Okay. Yeah, I think where we had this trailer before will probably do. So, all of the fields that we had previously harvested, I have planted over with canola. So we're going to have a massive, massive canola harvest at some point. So, because basically all of our fields have been converted over to that for the moment. Okay, I right. just... Uh, that's the problem, these particular trailers. Yeah. <laughs> and there's really no way to make it better. Never been a fan. Oh well. Seems by the time you get them to where they're always even half straightened out, either they're too far or too close. Although that, I'm thinking, is pretty close to perfect. Oof. Just need to crash into a few pallets to prove our point. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so like I say, next on the agenda is getting some silage together. And that shouldn't be too hard. There we go. Shut him down, park him up. And I put our big X in here. Um, the trailer's kind of... Oh, good. Look at that. Log off, and now the damn head fell off the trailer. So, that's not good, because I don't think I actually have the room in here to pick it back up. So I will have to reset that. But like I said, I really had a hard time finding a place for this thing. So, this... Uh, yeah, this lower barn's not a very good choice. 
it would have been nice to actually have something usable here. I mean, I'm sure you can find a way to use it, maybe stick some bales in it or something, but beyond that, it takes up an awful lot of space for a building that's not doing as much good. And this map doesn't have a lot of space to spare. So, uh, I don't know. So I know we did a little bit of a pros and cons kind of thing last episode, and I hope nobody came up with the idea that I have any real issues with this map, because I surely don't. I would have to say it's definitely contender for map of 2014, that's for darn sure. Alright, now, come on, why are you, oh, I know why, there is stock stock piece of game gear and for some reason I know uh, Steve at FC Modding told me that uh, the stock game gear actually is better suited to the MR in so much as it's been properly converted but I find all of it handles just horribly you know uh, oversteer you have much less control for stopping and starting and I don't see that as being a real part of the MR mod you know like I can understand that it changes uh, you know weight pattern and stuff on your uh, let's get this unfolded on your machines and that is going to have an effect on how they steer and accelerate and brake etc but I always thought it was a little overdone, and quite frankly, I don't think that it really helped that the adjustments that were made for the new version of it, those were actually exaggerated even more than they had been originally. So. Oh, I see, this is going to come up as always red, because it's always full. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to get about 20 feet, and this trailer is going to be full. Hmm said the one issue I had though was that the trailers just didn't seem to want to fit on here very well anything other than this uh, this particular type of trailer with that horrible front axle that I dislike so much um, this machine jacked it so high off the ground that it was unusable you know um, I had a big three axle trailer it would actually lift the front axle completely off the ground so. and we're going to be full here before we get a tenth of a row yuck um, this could be an issue hmm see I'm full already <laughs> yeah oh I did not want to drop that. I wanted to drop that. Uh, we'll pull back forward and get a tractor. Okay. Uh, it's not the one I would have picked, but <laughs> I really don't think that poor old van will haul what we need to haul. So, what are we going to grab? The JCB? I guess so. Definitely one of the uh, nice tractor mods for MR. I haven't had it fail me yet for power requirements. I really like the uh, the Zerian, but again, it has one of those sound files that uh, plays in a loop and becomes quite irritating. Like by the time you get it to the top of the hill to dump it, you're really really tired. Of that. <laughs> Or at least I am, but you guys may have noticed I'm kind of a fussy ass. So. But yeah, this is uh, going to be the project, I guess, for what looks to be a good portion of the rest of my life. <laughs> we'll be trying to get this... Uh... <sighs> Another reason that I hate these things is it doesn't matter what you try and do. You always have the tongue of these trailers pointing at some stupidly ridiculous angle. And that's because I made the horrifying mistake of actually trying to back it up a couple of feet. 
Yeah, see, 22,000, that's just not enough to use as a silage trailer. But, like I said, by the same token, <laughs> you know, nothing else seemed to fit. And now it's raining. So, I think, <laughs> it just couldn't get any better. So, we're going to call her a day, folks. I'm going to carry on with this. I may see if I have any luck with a slightly larger trailer or not. But beyond that, we got rid of our wool, made a little bit of money, which is always good. And uh, I guess we'll call her good. So, till next time folks, this has been Species 7. Take care of each other, and ciao for now.